What's up guys, Ivan here, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you the difference between the Torque Pro 0 to 60 timer versus a stopwatch, like a cell phone. Now, since this is an electric car, um, I'm gonna go ahead and track the battery state of charge after each run. In this test, we're gonna do three runs, and we're gonna compare data on both devices. All right, so let's go ahead and start our first run. We are at 65.5% battery state of charge. And 0 to 60 says ready. So let's try our first run. So as it shows right there, seven seconds flat. And then of course on my stopwatch, I did the best I could. I got 7.32. Alright, so the second run got 8 seconds on the Torque Pro app, and then my phone counted 7.46. Run number three, you got seven seconds on the Torque Pro app and on the phone, 7.52. And that's it guys, that's the not so scientific but at least rough comparison of using the app versus using a stopwatch. It looks like that the stopwatch was a lot more consistent with the times uh, versus where the, the app was kind of all over the place. It was 7 seconds, 8 seconds, 7 seconds, there was kind of like no in between. So, you know, I personally wouldn't rely on the 0 to 60 timer. Uh, if you want to get the most accurate reading, you just get the the draggy little device you plug into your OBD2, I believe. I think it's a GPS-based device. It's it's not cheap. It's about 200 bucks, I think. Um, but that will give you the most accurate reading or even spend more money and get one of those that mounts on the windscreen. Um, they also cost a couple hundred bucks. But those are the ones people use in their supercars and their Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and whatnot. So just, I think, for the best comparison... Um, or best kind of time, just use your stopwatch on your phone and you'll get probably the most accurate kind of reading you can get without spending any money. So that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any kind of questions or comments, leave them below. And aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next one.